So we're ready to kick off the season uh, next weekend. Uh, we're really looking forward to this year's crop of new talent and the return of veterans that we have. The strength of the ball club this year, I believe, is going to be our starting pitching. Uh, we're going to roll out four guys on weekends that I really think is going to be our strongest pitching that we've had here at Harvard um, on the weekends, and I think so during midweek. And one of the reasons is uh, we've got some guys, uh, some seniors that we can really count on. Uh, Max Perlman, uh, a big right-handed pitcher, is healthy this year. Had a great summer in the Cape Cod Baseball League, as well as Eric Eddington, a left-handed pitcher. Who played this year for the Newport Bells. Both of those guys had some arm troubles, but had great summers behind them, had great balls, and we really think that they're going to be two dominant pitchers this year for us. Along with them on the weekends, we have a couple of juniors. Uh, left handed pitcher Brent Suda, who was first team All Ivy last year, he was voted top prospect in his summer league this summer, and, and Brent uh, has really. Uh, given us that force that we need uh, on the mound and as a two-way player last year We're just going to let him concentrate on pitching this year. and We really think that's going to help him uh, Connor Hulse another right-handed pitcher is perhaps our most improved of our staff um, Connor has been in the rotation for the last couple of years, but you're going to see a different Connor Hulse uh, He's gained four or five miles on his fastball and I believe that was from summer baseball as well. So we're real excited about that starting rotation. Um, we've got two seniors in uh, Danny Barato and Ben Sestanovich, who are guys that have been helping us all along uh, during the course of their four years. And uh, we're going to count on them in long relief roles this year. And we think that both of those guys are going to be able to contribute. And you know what you're going to get when you bring Barato and Sestanovich out there. We've got some uh, really, uh, I guess you would probably call it uh, a big surprise for us, is how quickly the sophomores have come on. Still going to be a question mark, but Joe Novak, a right-handed pitcher, Matt Doyle, another right-handed pitcher, and Danny Moskovitz, three sophomores last year who had some in a, up and down outings all during our fall pro, uh, fall pro showcase in October we're touching 90 and flirting with uh, uh, outstanding second pitches so if those guys can uh, give us the boost that we need uh, in backup roles if you will or closing roles and depth roles we're real excited about what the sophomore class is going to give us and all of a sudden I look at the freshman class and sometimes you don't expect things from freshmen but We've got a couple of arms that are going to help us right away. Sam Dodge, a right-handed pitcher, was highly recruited. And we were very fortunate to get Sam. And um, we think he's going to be a number one at some point in his career. We hope he comes on quickly first this year. And another right-handed pitcher from Houston, Texas, and Baron Davis, who has had some really strong outings so far in the spring in our indoor workouts in the bubble. Uh, with Baron. Uh, he's an 88 mile an hour fastball guy right now with slider. Pitched at a big time high school down in Houston. We think he's got to be ready for Ivy League action this year. Um, there's also a couple of guys in uh, Marcus Wade who had been a first baseman DH and a pitcher. Marcus has really come on in early workouts this year. and I don't know how we're going to keep this guy out of the rotation. He's a big strong right handed pitcher with a good overhand curveball. Um, we may see him in the closer role this year. And then we've got a, a new addition in Crimson quarterback Andrew Hatch, who also is a two-way guy. But in his most recent outing, uh, he looked like he had the makeup and the ability to close for us this year. So we've got some nice problems this year in trying to get all those arms into the innings. But at the same time, I wish every coach in the country had the same problem as I had. We're real fortunate to have those guys as a staff. On the left side, we'd like to bring in Will Kuyper. He's our uh, all-around guy. We can use him early. We can use him late. We can get him one batter. But uh, what Will does is just give us that steady um, reliability that we need from a left-hander coming out of the bullpen. And we're going to use him in that same role. This will be his third year in doing that. And we think he's a very clutch performer. So... We wish we had a little bit more from the left side this year, but at the same time, uh, we're real happy with the strong arms that we have this year. Uh, moving on from the pitching, 
they say that a, a baseball club that has strength up the middle has a chance to win. Well, if that's the case, we really believe in our strength up the middle. You begin with two-time captain Tyler Albright, uh, who I consider one of the best, if not the best, catcher in New England. Uh, Tyler's been a three-year starter for us. He's healthy this year. He played last year with a fractured thumb. Um, he's swinging the bat real well. We think he's going to be a middle lineup guy for us. But the big thing he does is he takes charge back there. And having a catcher like, like Tyler um, really gives our pitching staff a, a real boost in confidence. Um, backing Tyler up, we also have a senior in Cole Alledge. Uh, Cole's been a steady performer for us for three years. Should see more action this year with all the games we've got to play. And junior John Smart, Smart has been the most improved player that we've had on the Crimson this year. He's coming off a great summer in the Hawaiian Collegiate League and uh, John's throwing the ball with authority right now. And our fourth catcher, you got to mention those guys behind the dish, is freshman Stephen Dill. A uh, big strong offensive player uh, who's got some defensive skills that I think are really going to uh, allow him to be a mainstay for us in the future, uh, taking Tyler's place. Uh, the other strength we have up the middle is the keystone combination. Senior Sean O'Hara, who's been a three-year starter for us, you know, a big bat in the middle of the lineup for us, uh, three, four-hole hit type of guy, Sean can pick. And uh, knowing that we've got him at shortstop, um, we feel that every ground ball is going to be a the pitcher's best friend. Uh, moving over from third base to second this year will be Jeff Reynolds. Uh, Reynolds has had two great campaigns for us, both 330 plus seasons. He's moving back to second at his natural position, we believe, is really going to help him and help the defense. Uh, also up the middle is we have senior four year started, Dylan O'Neill, center fielder with plus speed, a guy who can control, uh, patrol the big guy out there in uh, O'Donnell Field for us. Uh, he's been there for three years. This is his fourth year start, and we love him in the leadoff spot. The other parts of the infield, uh, looking at third base, is we've got an outstanding freshman. We're real excited about. Uh, he's going to be one of those guys that Crimson fans are going to come early to the ballpark to see him take infield. And Jake McWigan, he's a natural shortstop. He'll move into O'Hara's spot in the future. But right now, we think he's going to be uh, a terrific defensive third baseman for us with a good bat. Uh, at first base, we've moved Danny Moskovitz over from third base last year, and he seems to have found a home at first base. Uh, Moskovitz has the potential to hit the long ball, and he's in a real neck-and-neck -neck battle with Marcus Way, who's a returning first baseman who saw a lot of time in the DH spot for us last year. Uh, and that DH spot that Marcus had was uh, usually in the middle of the Crimson lineup. So we've got some great battles going on and at, at first base. And, uh, in the outfield, we've got some continuing battles, especially in right field. Uh, J.T. Tomes, a junior, seems to have taken the lead there, and uh, Tomes contributed a lot to the Crimson attack as a freshman. Had an off year due to injuries last year as a sophomore, and it's been a real big surprise for us in early spring workouts. Uh, J.T. brings an added measure of speed to the lineup, and along with J.T., we've got two freshmen, uh, Jeff Hayden from Cleveland, who also a kid who can fly, and Jack Colton, uh, a local kid from the Boston area who we think is going to be a middle of the lineup hitter for us during his future at Harvard. So that right field spot's up for grabs right now. On the other side of the corner, we've got left field to Sam Franklin. Uh, Sam was a big time starter for us last year, a mainstay in our lineup, guy who can run, guy who gives you defensive presence, and a real leadership role that he's taken on this year. I'm real proud of the way Sam's. Uh, taking on uh, his senior season. So we feel that that entire lineup uh, has depth. Uh, we think we've got speed in there, and we think we've got the experience with a lot of senior leadership there. I'd like to add a little bit about the Crimson Speed. We love to run. We get an aggressive attack, and this year we're going to definitely need to have that. Um, with the change in the, the bat specifications, the aluminum bats this year just don't seem to have the pop that they've had, and we think that's going to play right into our style of attack. We like to run, move guys along, and we think we're going to have nine tough outs in that lineup. And we'll see. We'll see how that goes this year. And looking at the prospects for the league, I really believe that the Ivy League's got a lot of strong pitching. It's going to be our strength going up against their strength, 
uh, throughout the season. Our guys are itching to get back into a championship format at the end of the season. Our goal this year is we want to be playing deep in through May, get a shot at those NCAAs in June, and I think we've got the talent to do it this year.